business caps lock and i'm with somya sandhu she's doing master of marketing in the past two years some subjects yes some subjects are very boring when i was changing the courses when well, everyone was like there's no pr in marketing i wouldn't say tough it's like i haven't thought about it that much because my next step is to like get a job Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another vlog, Business Caps Vlog, and I'm with Somya Sandhu. Today we are in RMIT in some space which is totally. What Shan? Oh, it's okay. Any word? It's okay. <laughs> so what do we call him? What Shan? What do we call him? Really quiet. Really quiet. <laughs> See the accent she has because she has been here for three years. Two years. Um, and the topic of the video, I guess you have seen. We are going to talk about masters of marketing. She's doing masters of marketing in the past two years, and I guess we can have a knowledge from her. We can have some information. So the students were coming in in our MIT in the next intake or probably in some other intake. So let's start. So Sonia, over to you. Um, let's start with some basic stuff. How you find our MIT? How you find Australia? I love our MIT. I love Melbourne. Ten on ten recommended. Uh, I came here in Feb 2022, like the Feb intake, and then I was doing data science, so masters in data science, and then I did that for one semester. Realized it wasn't for me, and then I changed to masters of marketing after one semester, which is why I was supposed to graduate in December, but um, like my degree got extended by six months because of that change. So now I'm in my final semester in masters of marketing, so almost finishing. If you will just have a Information regarding how the way you found Australia or how the way you found RMIT is the best university for you, when you were in India. Um, for me, the process was a little different. Like I applied to three universities in Melbourne because I shortlisted Melbourne for some personal reasons because my family friends are here. And then um, I chose RMIT, Monash, and Swinburne for data science. So I was looking from a point of view where. Which university is good for like tech courses? Right. So that's where RMIT. I saw RMIT, the location that it's in, like middle of the CBD. So I really liked that. That was one reason. Then another reason that it has good tech courses and everything. So I decided to go with RMIT. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's how you found Australian. That's yeah. How you found RMIT. Did you find it pretty hard when you were in, in the start of this course or when you were start of the um, Australian journey? uh good hard i'll say like okay. not like good struggles i'll say like i learned a lot um uh, in a positive way in a positive way yeah but uh nothing as such like things keep coming up but you just go through it yeah exactly and then with the course like i wasn't enjoying data science which is why i changed maybe that's why the first initial like 6 months were a little bit Like yeah, that oh, am I enjoying what I'm studying? Yeah, like that. So that's why I changed. But then after that, like I'm very happy now. With the course. Yeah, with the course, with the uni, with like the last two years, no complaints. The transition phase of changing the data science to marketing. Mm-hmm. So why you, from your perspective, why you like uh, thinking that it will be hard, and from RMIT's perspective, will they help? Did they help you in doing? The- Uh yeah it's pretty easy to change course like at least it was 2 years back so but i was changing from like a really really hard course to a like okayish course so i think uh, that was one thing but the process was pretty easy you just apply to the new course you get the offer letter you get accepted into the new course and then you just um, cancel your enrollment from your previous course It was like easy peasy stuff, not that. It was easy, yeah. Like, But why not getting a high rate? Right? Yeah, because people, like, lot of people change the courses, so like my reasons were different. But then, yeah, yeah I think. So, but we'll talk about this changing and transitioning in some other video. Coming back to the main topic, um, how is the affordability? What's the fee structure of this master of marketing course in RMIT? Uh, so if I'm Not wrong, like I don't know the exact figure, but it's seventeen thousand five hundred per semester. Per semester, Australian dollars. Yeah, so that comes to what sixty 
62 yeah if there is four semester then you can calculate my yeah. life by four Forty. and they they keep on changing they would keep on they increasing keep on the increasing fees. yeah because in data science it was like 16000 something and mm-hmm. then in masters uh, of marketing it was higher so yeah it's like 4500 per module so depends on how many so if you have four each so that makes up you found 70. uh you found any scholarship regarding this i think it was after the 20% scholarship that rmit gives to everyone and you got it good um coming back to the course thing how is the course structure of marketing in master of marketing is it what, what things a person should have in mind okay. to do it it's very basic honestly anyone who has not studied marketing before like me or like who's not from a business background can do it as well because they start with like very basics so in the first semester you get like four um core courses which you have to do for the other subjects in the next coming semesters yeah so yeah overall the course structure is nice um and it's like well structured yeah easy to get easy to yeah easy to get on okay very and like some subjects are very theoretical some subjects are hands on but it's like a mix of it it's more of writing stuff or more of yeah, writing stuff both like depends on the subject some are like where the, like a lot of research is required lot of reading lot of writing some are like creative where you have to like make campaigns and other things so really depends it's like a mix of everything you find it pretty fun some subjects yes some subjects are very boring but oh. depends on the lecturer as well like the professor and yeah like and the course content oh, like in some subjects i found it like really really good like it was very engaging uh, the classes were really good but in some subjects it was like very average i'll say coming to the professor thing how the, then the next question is how the professors the lectures of our mit are um, i suppose again i'll say it's kind of mixed in some subjects i really enjoyed the classes and i was looking forward to them because they made it interesting for us mm-hmm. but then some subjects um, i won't name the subjects but yeah the teachers were not <laughs> really good and okay. like you expect something from the class and then you get sort something. of get something else so it's it's like that but yeah you can always choose your courses accordingly like you get options in electives and also like you can skip out one subject in your whole oh. degree okay then th- that's a good option if you are having any issue in any particular subject or something right yes plus depends on what you want to do after you graduate so you mm-hmm. can choose the so suppose if someone wants to go in digital marketing so they must do that module in their degree if they don't they can just skip it out like then okay um uh, the next question is how and what are the future parts phase and how they relate to the course person can get uh so since it's not like a specialization it's only like masters of marketing so it's very generic so you can go into uh like all like all categories yep. so it's very flexible in that sense yep so he, given that i am still studying and i am not um uh, next started searching for jobs as such so i i'm not sure of the like the what pass is exact, exact roles. roles that they offer but i worked like in marketing for one years like part time with the startup here. so it was a digital marketing agency so i worked there as a marketing coordinator so i know till that extent but uh, mostly it's like marketing coordinator marketing executive okay. and then you get into like management positions like that like project managing social media marketing digital marketing sort of yeah so, so these all they like branches of the main trade to the marketing because yeah. my field is something related to content creation and we we people like marketing and creation people work together even if it's a startup even if it's a small company or it's a big company so we are kind of correlated we create their market it to obviously get the audience to sell or uh, sorry to get the product yeah. okay so the last or the last but probably the last question if you know what are the pr pathway then what are how the pr is related to this course in australia if a person wants to get pr through this is uh, it easy is it hard what do you feel i will be very honest yeah uh i don't know but uh when i was changing the courses is when everyone was like there's no pr in marketing you should not uh, change your course data science has a lot of lot more scope and they still do and like 
it's very mixed like whatever people say but it's like i've not had um, a word with like an expert expert on this but yeah people say that it's hard but i feel like there must be some pathway or there is depends on what role you get like marketing specialist in the occupation list and then depends on what areas are you in which city are you in as well so that's something which is like really tough i wouldn't say tough it's like i haven't thought about it that much because my next step is to like get a job okay for now so i'm so you're not exactly sure about this yeah plus if you really really like the course i'll say like don't of course if it's like depends on your priorities yep. but like it was in my case it was like i really want to do this course so i regardless of uh, the pr options or pr pathways i want to do it so that was in my way of looking at it but it totally depends same same cuz in my course as people have seen the reviews master of animation games and interactivity no pr but still we are doing it and yeah. and for getting pr there are other ways we'll talk about it in some other videos so the last thing from somewhere how's your personal experience about everything or the celia the course lectures the study or any other experience that you want to say regarding transition or anything overall as i said in the beginning of the video as well i love it i love rmit i love melbourne i love everything about melbourne yeah except the weather but yeah yeah no my experience to chud has been like really great um like obviously problems they keep coming as it going but yeah. yeah overall i'll say it was worth my like 2 years and like the investment of time and money take that so in then let me tell you that she is a social media content creator her instagram is in the description and also coming just here so let it go so um you guys can follow her because she makes so good reels even i used to uh, watch it when i was in india because you came before me right 6 months before me hmm. so that's totally relatable to international students not only are my not only australia it's relatable to any student any nation but make sure to watch it trust me and ask any questions if you free if you're free just you can just uh, reply to them or you can just comment down the questions here probably whenever you get free just yeah. go back to caps lock log and search and then reply to the comment section so this is caps lock this is somya subscribe to caps lock <laughs> thank you like share and subscribe my instagram has also been in the description if you have any questions or you want video on any other read any other topic let us know and we will surely meet yeah because she does so many things except study too <laughs> like clubs and all but we'll talk on this sooner or later come on the video yeah okay thank you bye